Hi air sign! Welcome to my channel. No, I didn't forget! It's your first day of March and I'm trying, uh, air sign. Really, really trying, okay, to get these readings out. I mean, I'm trying to catch up with the personal, so that's one thing. Okay, anyhow, and also the talk, okay, because in the talk show we have double, double episode right now. Okay, so do subscribe to the Daily Talk with Sal. Anyhow, we are here and you are there. <laughs> um, we're going to do the Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra, March 1st. It's your dailies. Choose the energies that you want to be in. Hopefully the good side and not the bad side. <laughs> okay, so here we go. For my Geminis. Oh, for my Libra and Aquarian also. Okay, let's see here. What's going on? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I like the lighting here better, right guys? Okay, I think so. <laughs> okay, comments are up, so please do. Okay, shout out, you know, scream out, whatever you want to say there. <laughs> yeah, every six of cups, only the nice stuff, okay? <laughs> six of cups energy, someone wants to come back into your life. Someone wants to reconnect, okay? Um, this is a person who can also be from your past life, that kind of connection. Normally, this is when you feel, okay? I'm feeling here like a white rose, okay? So either they're dead, okay? And then they come back. But it's just like some uplifting energy from this person, okay? Um, it's not sugar-coated because if, if it was a past karmic energy, you're gonna get through some stuff over here. But this is a blissful energy when they come towards your life, okay? Can be a younger and older over here also. When you met this person, also you're gonna feel a, a, a reset. Okay, so reconnect and reset. That's what I'm sensing here. Oh wow! Amen to this. You have a King of Cups. Okay, so the person is in love with you. That's good. Of course, it's a love reading, so let's get some love. King of Cups energy over here. Cancer spices. Cancer spices. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay, I guess the Pisceans are thinking of me after they had a wonderful read. Okay, this water energy is um, from, let me see here. Ooh, I sense you could be connected with someone who had been married or, you know, been, which is good, been. Okay, okay, let me see here. They're not current. I don't think so. Okay, let's see. And the world card, such a wonderful energy. The world card is completion. This is Saturn. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, and if it's a fixed sign, it means, um, you know, you gotta be, you're gonna be tested here, okay? Because they're very fixed in their ways. These are, this is a zodiac where, you know, it's hard. Not that it's hard to, to work with. They're just a thing on their own, okay? So this is this kind of person. They're just a thing. Uh, a different species, okay, basically, from what you always would encounter, okay? So let's see here. There could also be a person from, you know, you have to travel, you met from afar, a foreign person also. This person either, okay, um, someone here is very much musically inclined, okay? Other person here. Uh, so the person who's in love with you, they have the Two of Swords energy, and the Two of Swords is, is like, because the King of Cups wants to dive deep into their emotions, right? And the Two of Swords here is about not addressing the emotions. So this person is 50-50 always with you. Sometimes they're emotional, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they have so much emotion and sometimes they're not. Okay? So indecisive, it's like this. So almost like, what do you call that? A fish, right? And it's a water sign. It's going to be a Pisces. So it's like in and out, in and out of emotion. Not in your life though. So you're going to feel that sometimes they're very much into you. And then they're going to feel that sometimes they're just not into you. So you know that movie? Okay. <laughs> Let me see here. <laughs> Ace of Swords. So communication. Okay. I hope this doesn't go to a heartbreak because you have Ace of the Two of here. If this person keeps going to the whole, um, they're going to submerge you to deep emotion and then basically drop you out of that emotional state. You know, they're going to make you feel good and then just leave you out on the side. Then you're going to feel heartbroken over here. And then you're going to feel like, oh, there's probably someone else that this person is spending time with. Okay? But I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. And you have your the Knight of Wands, the One Night Stander, okay? I feel bad for the Sagittarians because they're always known as the One Night Stander. I mean, Sagittarian can last more than one night. I'm a Sag. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Okay, we can do two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> so, the One Night Stand over here, I don't think so, but they're in question even to have intimate connection with you. This person is uh, very much indecisive because they don't want to do it 
because they don't want emotions you know you know how things get complicated they don't want to complicate things between you and what they feel okay because we all know once you become intimate with this person it's easy for feelings to just run out like that okay because this, this person has love this person has feelings but again they can't express it the way that normal people would do because they would they would put you in emotional state and they would just leave that emotion out there and you're gonna be like what just happened and you only just want the truth because you have the ace of swords do you really like me do you even have feelings for me this is what you're telling to this person because why do you keep connecting with me a six of cups why you keep coming up in my life you know that's what you're asking over this person okay so air sign i'm going to continue this reading as we move forward how they feel towards you energy of the relationship and we are going to start partying because remember in the extended read we like to party we like we like to party okay so i will see you guys there that's a very late well i don't know who the artist is but i think it's the benga boys or the benga boys or something like that all right well anyhow i am tuning out for tonight and that's your march one i will see you guys again bye